The 20 km long Meirungsport closely follows the course of the Groot River through the dramatic Swartberg Mountains for the entire distance. Part 1 of this three-part series on the port covers the first half from the northern start to the main rest area and the waterfall. The road crosses and recrosses the river via 53 bends and curves and 25 bridges. It descends 262 vertical meters over the 19.8 kilometers of its length, producing an average gradient of 1 in 76. The port was named after a local farmer, Pietrus Johannes Meirung, who lived on the De Rist farm close to the southern end of the port. He campaigned tirelessly for a wagon route through the port to link local farms with the northern markets. In the year 1856, Thomas Melville was given the task of completing the first bridle path, but he was subsequently dismissed after complaints against him. However, the Roads Commissioner then appointed Thomas Bain's brother-in-law, Adam de Smit, to tackle the project. At the first grand opening on the 13th of March 1858, the Cape Monitor newspaper reported that the hardy Mr. Mayrung burst into tears when the champagne bottle wouldn't burst, seeing it as a bad omen. Those who predicted that the road was ill-conceived were not wrong when in 1859, 1861 and 1875 severe floods damaged the road to such an extent that the route had to be closed for long periods of time. There are five beautifully appointed rest stops with ablution facilities dotted at various points along the port. These are located at the 4, 9, 15 and 17 kilometer points. After the third severe flood, Thomas Paine was consulted about the frequent flooding problem and typically he was blunt and to the point and suggested that the road rather go over the mountain, which some years later he actually did when he designed and constructed the Swartberg Pass. Even today, on this beautifully constructed road, frequent flooding remains a problem. The tireless, ingenious and hard-working Thomas Paine was in the process of constructing the Swartberg Pass in 1886 when he left the site to assist with the reconstruction of Meirungsport. Bain was known to have written in his journal the following words, There are only three problems with construction of roads, and they are water, water, and water. He then redesigned the road through Meirungsport, reducing the number of river crossings, and where possible took the road to a higher line above the flood level. As the mountains start to hem the road in and the port gets narrower, one gets the true feeling of being within the confines of Meirung's port. At the 9.5 km point, one arrives at this beautiful rest site, which includes the interpretive center and also provides access to the waterfall. The rest area is duplicated on the opposite side of the road for northbound traffic. It's well worth a few minutes of your time to explore the interpretive center and learn about the flora, fauna and history of this magnificent port. The entire port falls within the jurisdiction of the Swartberg Nature Reserve and is expertly managed with world-class facilities. From here, it's a short walk up a flight of stone steps to a beautiful waterfall which is featured fully in part two of this three-part series. The first four rest areas all provide drinking water and clean toilet facilities.